Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Tatiana Haverlock. I am an emergency physician and founder of Hello Sono. We help medical practices launch compliance and high quality focus programs. In this video, I will go over how to scan Achilles tendon with ultrasound. So let's just go over the indications for this. Uh, that would be patients with posterior ankle pain that you're concerned for Achilles tendinopathy or an Achilles tear. Um, I typically have the patient be in a prone position like we have uh, the patient here, but you can also do it with a patient sitting down and uh, feet hang hanging down. I am uh, going to start with the sagittal orientation first, and my probe marker is going to be pointing towards patient's head. I will now place the probe uh, over the calcaneus to identify the insertion points, and we are seeing it already quite clearly. This is the calcaneus. We have a deep shadow underneath it, and this is the attachment point uh, of the Achilles tendon. You are seeing these um, striations that are going across the screen. Uh, one thing I want to point out here is um, a normal finding that's called anisotropy that we commonly see with tendons. And basically, depending on the angle of my probe, we are seeing this hypoechoic area. And when I get the ultrasound beam to be perpendicular to the tendon, it goes away. So this is a normal finding and it's not a pathology, it's not a tear. Once I have identified my Achilles tendon, I will start sliding my probe uh, proximally to visualize the length of the tendon. Trying to keep it centered as much as possible. While I'm scanning the Achilles, I'm looking for any kind of interruptions in the fibers or complete disruption and also for fluid. You can also measure the actual thickness of the Achilles tendon. I'm going to decrease my depth to do so. Freeze the image. And then drop my calipers. So you can get a measurement and in here, here we are getting about 3.2 millimeters, and you can actually compare it to the other side. So if you have affected and unaffected side, you can have an actual comparison that's appropriate for the patient. In this case, this is normal. I also will scan the Achilles tendon in a transverse orientation. I'm going to turn my probe 90 degrees with a probe marker pointing to patient's left. So this is the Achilles tendon in the center. And once again, we are scanning. And here we are seeing the tendon in a transverse view. So we are seeing these punctate uh, hyperechoic structures. So this is a normal view. And we are looking once again for anechoic areas or interruption, complete disruption of the tendon. And you can see that the tendon flattens out uh, as it becomes muscle. Uh, this is a really useful scan uh, to perform on patients in primary care setting because you might be saving them um, additional imaging, for example, getting more extensive MRIs and also uh, referrals to orthopedics. Uh, a lot of times you can give them a diagnosis at the bedside and proceed with appropriate management. Thank you for watching. Please check out hellosono.com if you'd like to learn how we can support you in building high quality, compliant, and profitable POCUS programs. Please do check out the rest of this series for more useful tutorials.